My name is Tom and I run a seasonal goods company called Tom Martin London. So Tom Martin London started seven years ago as a hobby while I was at school. Uh, my mum used to buy uh, my brother and I a Christmas present, a little um, table gift and it was a hand-painted decoration, um, painted using an ancient craft which was painted on the inside and one year my mum couldn't um, couldn't buy them because the shop closed down and I thought to myself oh I'll try and find one so I find someone that could um, either supply them or someone that could paint them for me so I've done a bit of investigating and um, I found someone that could paint them so I created a design and had a small batch made prim primarily with the intention to give it to my mum as a gift um, but of course I had more than my mum would want so I tried to sell them and they became really popular. We then went on to Northern High Street where we were until January 2016 where we left because we wanted to have a bit more of, a, bit more of an autonomous future um, and since then we've become uh, more independent and we've grown quite fast and it's now my full-time job. So each um, decoration is painted from the inside. It's um, a hand-blown glass sphere and of course when you blow the glass there's a little hole at the top um, which ordinarily is where the hook goes hang, hang it up um, but that hole is how you paint them so small painting hooks are lowered into the top and the interior surround is painted by hand in reverse so where on a normal painting you would paint um, the background followed by the middle ground then the foreground and detail on these you have to do it in reverse so you paint the detail first followed by the middle ground and background so the process is quite long. Um, it starts with generally the watercolour or some drawing of, of, of sorts to create a formation of what the design will be. Um, that then gets put into the computer, um, which, we, which I then overlay with different images to make it look quite realistic. Um, that then goes to uh, four artists which I work with, who are ones a master in this, in this craft. Um, and they take this two-dimensional piece of art and convert it to work on a 3D surround. So quite a lot of changes need to be made. For example, you can't have an image which touches the side of the paper because it has to wrap around the decoration. Um, also, you can't have a uh, perspective which goes into distance because, of course, when it goes around the bauble, the perspective on one side will be completely different to the bit next to it. Um, so you have to really think about what the design will be and how you're going to try and create that so usually the designs um, feature traditional scenes, so they're either um, in the city um, or they're more village orientated, typical country locations. But this year I'm from uh, Leon C um, in Essex, born and bred Essex boy. And uh, this year I wanted to do something a bit more personal. So I chose the beach in Southend. Um, you don't normally think of the beach being Christmassy, but I wanted to prove that there is still warmth in a cold, windy seafront so I chose South End Beach um, and I added some reindeers. Um, the title of the bauble is called For Those That Deliver Christmas so the intention was to have a little nod of thanks to those loved ones that deliver Christmas, the mums, the dads, the aunts, uncles, grandparents, sisters, brothers um, but of course in traditional Christmas tale the, those that deliver Christmas it is the reindeers so they are symbolic of those that put on Christmas for us all. So this year we've created a very special decoration for my cousin Amy who was left severely brain damaged after a catastrophic reaction to a peanut allergy in 2014. Um, the costs for um, Amy's continual care and rehabilitation are continuous and very large so my mum and I have set up a trust um, which the money goes to help towards helping Amy. I wanted to create something which allowed people to donate to the trust, um, but in turn had something to keep and they felt closer to Amy. And it was memorable of um, not only Christmas and helping Amy, but was a, a thank you to them of all the good that they've done and helped, helped Amy in her rehabilitation. So the decoration is available online um, at tommartinlondon.com. Um, but if you do want one in time of Christmas, please order one before the 21st. Alternatively, we do have a pop-up um, at the Advent, which is an event at WeWork Spitterfields on the 21st. All the decorations will be on sale there, including Amy's design.